Alright, so the latest Infinity Wars patch for October just came out. I haven't really played that much. I've been logging in daily to get my daily IP reward. But now that that is out, I felt I would actually spend all 31,936 IP that I have. Now, I can't actually spend that exact amount because it's a very obscure amount. But I can spend enough to get six super booster packs so that's what i am going to do now i've already uh used up all the free booster packs i got from leveling up that they just added in um i've already gotten my daily win or um uh, i still call it daily win i got my daily login rewards twice and i've gotten uh the daily matches twice so that's what that's what i've gotten so far um i've been getting my daily win for the past like month or two um i haven't really played too much and i felt uh rise the new booster pack just came out and i thought i would purchase six booster packs of that i'm really hoping for a subjugated dragon uh, i've been really wanting that since i read a uh, a deck list a while back uh that i thought would be really interesting to uh to play it's basically a deck with very little creatures and you uh, rely on killing your own creature repeatedly you are a pure masochist and i really love the idea of that deck so we are going to purchase or i say we i mean me i am going to purchase six uh rise super booster packs and really hope crossing my fingers for a subjugated dragon so let's go and purchase now I actually have to enter my password uh, let me do that real fast unlock with IP let's see what we get all right huh, I thought magic siphoner was actually a, uh, a core item Vandalize. Risen Disciple. This interesting art. Zombie Gone 4000. I love the name of this, but it's actually, in my opinion, uh, not a very good item. It's very situational, assuming the enemy has undead. So unless they really make undeads a uh, a big thing, I don't I don't see that. Oh, what the hell? Three costs with six seven at the start of your turn. If Technet is in the support zone, it heals all damage. That seems really good. I don't know why. It just it really does seem good. So, let's see what we get. Harbinger of Light, Protector of the Dead, Yobo, who nobody likes. I've actually been needing one of these. Really happy about that. And what do we get? Alita the Immortal Traveler. All right. Now to the second booster pack. Now for people who have not purchased a booster pack in Infinity Wars, you do have to enter your uh, password when you want to purchase something. But it actually does remember it through the same session so I could just keep it you don't have to keep entering my password I could just keep hitting unlock with IP or you know the other currency if we were going to be purchasing with that so let's see what we get another zombie gone one of many exhumed recycle I've actually been needing a few recycles they're a really nice card for recycling cards back into your deck they do what their name says undead corruption and ritual and a lethargy stone Characters you control cannot attack at the end of each turn. Each opponent loses four morale. Wait, what? Each opponent? Seems like that's a bit of a, uh, a typo. I'm assuming it means uh, for each card you control or for each card the enemy controls. I don't know. Uh, they lose four morale. I think that's what is meant to be awarded. I don't know. Four more booster packs I can have. Really hoping for a subjugated dragon now. Really, really hoping for it. It looks like we got an, uh, two rare cards, or unless that's something else back there. Let's see what we get. Oh, what's this? Word of Command? Ah, I like Word of Command. I remember, I've, I've had that use against me a little bit. Controlled, Temporal Anomaly, Preemptive. Remove target character from the game. At the end of each turn, the character returns to play. Interesting. Only a two calls. So that's pretty nice. So what do we get? Protector of the Dawn. Protector of the Dawn comes into play. Each character you control gains untouchable. That's very nice. And he's got a charge. So six calls, eight, ten charge. And interdimensional phase bot. When phase bot is removed from... I'm not going to read that ability, but uh, nice. Two rares. I like that. Three more booster packs. And ah, I see an epic. I see an epic back there. Really hoping for Subjugated Dragon at this point. 
would like to also see some more recycles. I do need some of those. I'm assuming someone can actually trade me, though. And Bloodbath. Ability, move all characters on the battlefield into the assault zone. Oh, that's, yeah, it's an epic. Uh, and move all characters on the battlefield to the into the defense zone. Your characters attack twice. Oh my god, that's amazing. Wow. That is amazing. I, I'm i going to have fun playing around with that. That's that's really, really amazing as an effect. Let's see what we get here. And Crystal the Mad. It really sucks that uh, this faction, um, the Exiles, is not really fully fleshed out. Um, nice that I'm getting some of the cards, but they aren't really a fleshed out faction at this point in time. So I believe if I've done the math right, I do get one more booster pack. Let's see what I get. And uh, then I'll be done with the video. And it looks like no subjugated dragon. Which sort of sucks, but uh, there's that. I think I'll eventually get him. Here, all characters think I'm in zone retreat back to their support zones. Okay. Uh, Herald of the Non. And Leds Landstead. I've actually been wanting this card, so I'll take it. I've been wanting a Landstead. Uh, there's a very nasty combo with this card. Um, so I think I'll actually be making this deck now. It's it's very, very nice. Uh, I like it very much. So, yep, six booster packs. Uh, six Rise booster packs, uh, no less. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you have yet to play Infinity Wars, I would really recommend... Oh, I would really recommend uh, signing up for it. It is a very good game, very interesting, and it is actually truly free to play. You can play 100% for free. Uh, you don't have to invest any money. I've only invested six bucks, but uh, uh, it's. I don't think I've gained much of an advantage. In fact, I still think I'm really far behind the average players. So uh, yeah, I would sign up for beta. Play the game if you want. Again, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day.